Mutt and Jeff. <laughs> I think they're so cute together, though. They're super cute, right? Look, last night's decorations deflated. What a beautiful morning. It's very crisp, beautiful out today. So this is Miss Sadie. I call her Sadie May. She is an Australian Shepherd mix. We're not real sure what the other mix is. But I think I've told y'all several times about how super smart this dog is. The story of Sadie. Ever since I was a kid, we've always had lots of dogs. My dad used to raise beagles, played with our little beagle puppies. I didn't have Barbies, I had beagles. That would sit out on the front lawn and play with the beagle puppies. And y'all have heard me talk about Brutus, our German Shepherd. He lived till about 17 years old. And so I've always grew up with animals, with, with dogs mostly. We've had a cat here and there, but dogs are our favorite species of pet. <laughs> And we had a dog named Patches that we had for many, many years. My dad got me Patches. She was a Cocker Spaniel when I was in high school. And when I went off to college, dad and Patches, they were inseparable. And he still gets choked up today talking about her. They were best buds, rode around together and everything. And when Patches died, he just didn't feel like he wanted another animal because it just hurt so bad. He went to an animal shelter and he looked at many dogs, tested out many dogs. He wanted one that was calm and cool and collected. And he saw Sadie. And all the other dogs were going nuts and crazy and barking. And Sadie was just cool, calm, just kind of collected off to the side, minding her own business. She was just not crazy like all the other dogs. It was real close. It was like a couple weeks off from Father's Day. And they were going to have a Father's Day special where you get, get the dog a little bit cheaper. And like maybe the shots and stuff are free. He had thought about waiting. But then he saw this gentleman walking her. Was wanting to wait but was afraid that he would miss out. So he went ahead and he got Sadie. He took her home and the very next day, they don't know each other at all, right? He takes her to Lowe's with him and leaves her in the car. He came back to his little Ranger truck and she had shredded the seats. I mean, completely shredded. Tore to pieces. No seats were left. There was foam everywhere. Trash day. Watch out, Addy. particular about her house all, her house was immaculate it was so clean all the time my house is nowhere near where my mom's was she when Sadie came home her first thought is that dog cannot be in this house she can't stay in this house the first couple nights dad was really scared because he didn't have a place he didn't want to tie her down or chain her up he just let her be outside <laughs> And he said he got up the next morning and she was sleeping right beside the back door and got up and greeted him and was thrilled to see him and she was there two nights in a row. And so he's like, okay, she's a keeper. She's going to stay. They live on a big farm way out in the country. And so if she wandered off, you would never find her. But she was right there. She stayed right at the back door. So dad went and got her a little crate. And dad was outside most of the time in his workshop or out in the fields and stuff most of the day anyway. So they were outside most of the time. But at night, he would bring her in and at bedtime, he'd put her in the crate. Today, we got an online order. I want to thank you. 
Karen for your order. I had customers kind of sprinkled in. I'm getting hungry. It is already like three o'clock. How does it, how is it three o'clock already? Grab that tuna fish salad and just sit here for a little bit and do some editing. Shortly, probably not very long at all, my mom started having some issues. He would call me and say, oh, your mom's you know, she's getting confused when she's when she's cooking. She can't multitask. When she goes to the grocery store, it just completely overwhelms her. I have to go with her, and they get in fights and stuff at the grocery store because of confusion. Me and my kids and Chris, we came to Thanksgiving, and this is when we really started noticing it with Mom. Like, she tried to cook, and it just turned into a big fiasco, and things, recipes that she had cooked for years and years were messed up, and got real upset if anybody said anything about it. We met Sadie and they just went on and on about how awesome Sadie was and how great she was and and she really is. Just kept going on and on and on. Love her, love her and just was feeding her like a baby, treating her like a baby and they were telling us about the crate and I, and I just looked at both of them. I was like, the next time we come down at Christmas, which is in like a month, that dog will be sleeping in the bed with you. <laughs> no, she won't to say in a month when we came back the crate was no longer in the mud room and Sadie had been completely integrated into the family home and she sleeps and still does to this day with my dad my mom loved her like a little child I mean she treated her like a child and she just went on and on I can remember actually getting a little bit jealous of Sadie the way they went on and on and on about her I feel like Sadie is a true therapy dog she was there for my mom always been there for my dad she does not leave his side when my mom passed away, Sadie was there. It'd be sad if Sadie wasn't there for my dad. He would be all alone. And so she is a godsend. She came at the perfect time in both of their lives. When my dad passes away, she will be my dog and she's my forever dog. And I consider her mine already. And I love her and she loves me. She really is special. The way she came into their lives is special. I'm gonna close out right now. I'm gonna count the drawer down and try to get all the lights turned out and I'm gonna head home. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I appreciate you watching and we will see you next time. Bye.